the normal stuff. People call you weird when you show your true colors, which ironically doesn't make much sense. Everybody's weird in their own way. Basically because they're not like other people. Mm -hmm. Or because they do things that other people don't do, or they're different. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, different. That sums it all up. Yeah, why, why do why do some people think that everybody should be the same then? I, mean, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't think that way, so I wouldn't know. <sighs> Sexual preference, gender, mm -hmm. uh, favorite things to do, liking to read. Being intelligent. Probably because of your size, their weight, the way they look, mm -hmm. and if sometimes if they're smart or not, they get picked on. Being really book smart. Mm -hmm. uh, dressing mm -hmm. differently. Mm -hmm. Maybe different skin colors. Mm -hmm. Different races get me fun. Do you feel like uh, there's a difference between like girls bowling and boys bowling? Yeah. I think girls are a lot worse to each other when you're bowling so? against another girl. Yeah. How so? They torment each other pretty bad, mm -hmm. what it seems like to me. Yeah. yeah. They just go after their personal life and just make fun of them for their, if their body, about their body and stuff like that, because girls are really sensitive about their weight and all that. Mm -hmm. And I think girls have more of a better mental game. With guys, it's more physical. Mm -hmm. Girls just attack from the inside out. Right. Tear them down until they just can't take it. Yeah. Definitely, because boys bully normally physically, mm -hmm. girls do it mentally. Yeah, so like, what do you think the main reasons that people bully other people are? Try to make yourself look better, look bigger, be right. dominant. I think that's why I look bigger. To make them feel superior to others. Sometimes it's because it makes them feel better because they feel like they're powerful. Mm -hmm. Like they can make people afraid of them. I guess that makes them feel good. It's uh, the motivation is just different with each per person. Uh, some people bully because, you know, like their friends are around, like they want to seem cool and everybody's laughing when they bully on somebody so they think, oh, I can just keep on doing this and I'll be cool with all my friends. And mm -hmm. Some people actually have like a bad, a bad history of bullying. Maybe people that were bullied before started bullying after, you know, they stop being bullied, I guess. Uh, typically people think they do it because they want to make the other person feel small. I think they do it to make themselves feel bigger. Mm -hmm. More powerful, I don't know. Yeah, and why do you think people feel like they need to do that? Um, I don't know, it could be lots of reasons, really. Like, your home could be bad, you know, they always are put down or something. Uh -huh. Just not happy with themselves, not very really confident. I don't know, there's a lot of different reasons, really. Yeah, like what? Like, people do it to make themselves feel better. They'll do it to make them feel like they have a, like, sort of testosterone domain over people, mm -hmm. mostly with guys or, I don't know. Why do you think that we need to feel like that? Uh, I think it's just part of being human. In his head, he's cool. Mm -hmm. And to his friends, he's cool. To, uh, he seems tough. He seems like, you know... He, there's fear in other people to him, and he might like that. It'd probably be more of a feeling of trying to be superior over others. Mm -hmm. Trying to prove you're better than someone else. Mm -hmm. And why do you think people need to feel like that? I mean, everyone want, wants to feel like they're stronger than everyone else. Uh -huh. It's normal. But some people take it to an extreme. Probably somebody that feels insecure about themselves, so they have to pick on somebody that's either smaller or smarter than they are. Yeah, and they feel insecure, so they bully that kid to make themselves feel better. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, do you feel like then, like the motivation for bullying is some kind of inadequacy or something? Yes, because somebody feel has something about them that they don't like, and they just have to do that to bully somebody else because they're insecure about something about them. Bullying, I think it's a way for kids to, like, show that they have the ability be in power, like to show that they can be the boss of other people. So it's kind of like people bully other people so they feel powerful mm -hmm. or they feel good about themselves. Why do you think people do that? Mm -hmm. So they get their self-esteem boosted while ours gets crushed, I guess. Mm -hmm. They think they, they feel better because they put somebody else down or 
they're better than somebody said they think, I guess. What kind of uh, long-term effects do you think that bullying can have on a person? Kids can, like, if they get bullied for a long period, they can, like, mentally be, like, just depressed all the time. Like, you can have depression your whole life from getting bullied a couple times when you're little. Mm -hmm. Like, there's a lot of problems that can happen. Yeah. You can be mentally disturbed. I don't know, they could always just never think much of themselves. Mm -hmm. They're always put down all the time, 24-7. Mm -hmm. Just, I don't know. Say something enough, you might believe it. Right. Uh, it can make people very angry mm -hmm. and hate the world and hate everyone. Yeah. Like they're never going to forget it. Yeah. They're never going to forget being bullied. They're always going to have that, you know, they're always going to know that feeling of how it feels to be put down. Mm -hmm. Do you think that there are lasting, like, psychological effects of bullying? Definitely. Yeah, like, like how? Uh, someone can be, you can be driven insane. Just feeling it's, uh, Inferior to everyone else, you've been put down somewhere so you can just crack and like will actually believe you're inferior. Mm -hmm. And that you like sometimes it could lead to suicide because they don't feel like they're worth anything. But oh, yeah, mentally, you can like get bullied, you know, through your whole high school career, or elementary, middle school, and some people have killed themselves over it. Like, mm -hmm. it's mental abuse. I've seen the news a couple of days, a couple of weeks back, and being bullied, calling gay, and stuff like that, and you jump off the bridge. And Suicide. The suicides of those people, they were bullied for being homosexual. Mm -hmm. They killed themselves. I mean, that's always a big threat to being bullied. Yeah. And what's that do to a person? Uh, uh, I mean, I know what it feels like, and it will drop my self-esteem. But, I mean, I've also learned to, like, pick it back up. Probably I mean, drive them nuts. Where, if, I mean, if they've been bullied for, like, all of high school, I bet you nine times out of ten you're going to go out probably make themselves become bigger, better or something, so they can bully to another person. Mm -hmm. I think some people it can help them, but some people it doesn't. It can just tear their life apart, mm -hmm. just make them fall into like a dark hole. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes like there will be one active bully or a few. But then there will be a lot of people who see it happen that don't do anything. Why do you think that people don't do anything? When they see <laughs> I that? think the reason people don't like tell on people is because they don't want to be known as a snitch or, mm -hmm. uh, which I find very stupid. Because if it's gonna hurt someone, you might want to help them. They don't want to feel like they're a snitch or like. Sometimes if it's their friend, they don't want to be like, dude, don't do that and then go tell a teacher because then they won't be their friend anymore. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes people just don't care, so they just walk off and they're like, it's not me being bullied, so I'll leave it alone. Because they're scared. Scared of what? Um, scared that maybe they'll turn on them and bully them, or people will make fun of them because they're trying to do what's right, mm -hmm. and it's, they wouldn't be fitting in with the crowd. Mm -hmm. Or, I mean, some people just look at it and they just blow it by, because, I mean, they just it's not their problem. When I was like, when I was younger, when I got bullied, I really didn't help other people that were bullied because then, you know, that direct attention to me, right. and I don't want to be bullied after I help someone bullied. Why do you think uh, some people who see bullying, but like, and they're not even actively part of it, like, don't do anything about it? Because I think they're afraid that if they stick up for that person that's getting bullied, they're going to get bullied. Mm -hmm. Or they're either bully themselves and they just don't want to get involved in somebody else's problems. Because mm -hmm. they realize they'll cause a conflict with that person that's bullying that kid. Mm -hmm. Which is just going to open up more problems for that person. He wasn't in this state, but I've seen a teacher bully a kid. Well, some of the teachers in the high school, they actually go along with it. Yeah. I've seen them actually bully students. Mm -hmm. So they think it's funny. This one time, this kid, I don't know, I just never liked him. I mean, we were friends, but I just didn't like him. And he said something wrong to me, and I bashed his head into a wall <laughs> at school. The funny thing was, the teacher that came out, she was like, what are you doing? And I was like, nothing. And she noticed who the kid was, and she walked off. She didn't even try to help him. Mm -hmm. And like afterwards, I felt bad because I was like, God, the teacher didn't even try to help the poor kid. Mm -hmm. but Do you think that happens often, that teachers kind of just turn a blind eye to yeah. stuff like that? I've seen that happen a lot. Like, because if the kids like look down upon, or they think it's a bad kid, 
if someone else is picking on them, or like one of the popular popular kids is picking on like one of the unpopular kids, the teachers like they see it, they just turn around and act like it didn't happen. What do you think schools could do, like principals, teachers, students, whatever, to decrease you know bullying in schools? I don't think there is much to do besides students stepping up and saying stuff about them being bullied or other students with witnessing it and stopping it you can't really stop bullying it's always going to be there mm -hmm. kids there's always some guy out there going to act cool and act bad thinking it's so much fun to pick on someone who he thinks is not as cool as himself mm -hmm. the only yeah really the only thing is for the the, the students to step up well a lot of the bullies they do it to try to I think to try to show off in front of people. Mm -hmm. I think if a lot of people like encouraged them to like what they were doing wrong was wrong and like mm -hmm. encouraged like good things they did, like mm -hmm. be like, oh that's awesome because you helped this kid up, not oh that's awesome because you pushed this kid down. Track down all you want, and you could kick people out for saying inappropriate stuff, but it's never going to stop it. You're never going to catch all the behind the scenes stuff, and you're never going to be able to know what's really going on. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, there are some people out there that will not ever open their mouth mm -hmm. and will not ever say what's going on, will not ever say what's wrong with them. Well, I mean, there's always going to be bullying, but rules aren't really going to do much. It's more, it's not really students or not teachers who can do it, it's the students. Mm -hmm. If you can make bullying seem uncool and a less desirable thing, like shun the bullies or something, mm -hmm. that'd probably help a lot. Try to get the kids to mix with each other because, I mean, you got those stupid cliques here in high school. The skaters and then the jocks and the preps and the cowboys and the nerds and the ROTC mm -hmm. where people just stay to themselves. If we could probably, like, intervene those and mix people up, have, like, a day where they you have to sit with a different group of people, mm -hmm. like, for lunch, maybe draw names out of a hat. Make them sit with them, maybe get to know each other. You don't have to like be mean to people to feel in power. All you have to do is like get good grades and then you'll feel great about yourself. You don't have to pick on other people. And if somebody's picking on you, then like tell somebody. It's not going to be a big deal. It's not like, going to be like, oh, you're a snitch, now we're all going to beat up on you or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's really not as big of a deal as people think it is. Like they think they have to hide it or whatever. Mm -hmm. But when you get bullied, not like something to be ashamed about. Everybody gets bullied at least once or twice in their life, you know? It's not really worth it to be mean to somebody who doesn't deserve it. Mm -hmm. So from all the years I've been bullied, I just decided that it didn't feel good when I got bullied. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to feel good when I bully somebody else. I wasn't at anything like I am today, so I changed everything about me. Like I used to not, I used to be shy, I used to not talk to anybody. It's really smart. That didn't change at all. <laughs> I'm a victim. No. Then you're gonna say I'm a bully. No. You wanna do that? Oh, I wanna say like, something cool. Say something cool then. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> 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 Alright.